Hey guys, JMS here, and tonight I want to talk about Proverbs 11.23, and I don't usually do this, but this is a great message, and what Proverbs 11.23 says is, the desire of the righteous ends only in good, but the hope of the wicked ends only in wrath, and to break this down step by step, right, the desire right so what are your true desires what's going to keep you rooted and you know I talk so much about vision all these things that keep you grounded and keep you going after something that's pure something that's real and something that you're not going to you know be uprooted by you're not going to just move on to the next thing because it's something very true to you so in a sense that's righteousness because you know righteousness is not something that you can attain and there's a lot of strange sort of debate about the word righteousness and people kind of a lot of people think of that in a negative way but what it is it's not doesn't mean you're like a priest or it doesn't mean you're like in some high standing righteousness is just a state of being where you're just you know it, it's you can't put a label on somebody and call them righteous you can just carry it out as much as possible right so I think an easier way to describe this is the flip side of this Proverbs, which is hope of the, of the wicked, and hoping is sort of like just trying to do something, just sort of putting your foot in the water but not going all the way in, and hoping is like going after the money in something, seeing an opportunity to make money and just sort of going after it, and when you don't make money, you want to move away, or this is a little controversial, but going after maybe um a partner in a relationship that is you know you look at them like wow that that person's really good looking um and you sort of get caught up in in that world or you go out at night and you get caught up in the world of sort of the bar scene the club scene and you sort of uh aren't going after a partner you know and you know no judgment or anything but more of like the fast life would be like hoping for something where you don't actually have a, a real intention behind it. You don't have a, a good intention behind what you're doing and something that if it doesn't work, you just kind of quit or you just kind of move on. That's kind of like hoping. And that's sort of like this fast gratification stuff is sort of like the wicked part of this is how I kind of break it down. This is totally my interpretation, but it, but it's I think it's pretty pretty good. So hopefully you guys get value from that. And I think the big takeaway from this proverb is to just stay rooted in what you believe in. What are your core level desires and what's your vision? Stay rooted in that no matter what. Even if someone comes along and tells you, you know what, you're not really doing this right. you got to do this or you got to go after this instead because this is what's going to make you successful. You just can't listen to it. You have to go after what your desires are, whatever you're going towards, and don't keep moving on and on. Just find exactly what you're going to be great at and just go full force for it and don't let anyone else see it because every time anybody's ever great they see it before anybody else in the world can see it and that's what faith is so with that said hope you guys have a great night live vision fit i'm out